So there are two main types of confinement. There's active confinement, in which you have your specimen. And you actively confine it by applying some uh, pressure in the um, tangential direction. So, uh, and this will affect your strength. Uh, given this expression that we looked at earlier. There's also passive confinement. And passive confinement occurs due to, Poisson, or due to the difference in Poisson's ratio between steel and concrete. So let's say we have a, a steel cylinder, or sorry, a concrete cylinder that's surrounded by steel. And uh, so we have concrete on the inside and we have steel on the outside. When we apply a load P, what's going to happen is, uh, or we'll look at what happens on the next uh, below. So uh, the initial Poisson's ratio for concrete is uh, about 0.17 and Poisson for steel is 0 0.25. So you can see when we initially apply the load there aren't going to be any confining effects because uh, the steel is going to expand in the off direction at a faster rate than the concrete. So in order to look at this further, we need to look at the uh, stress strain curve and then also the stress, or sorry, the strain um, Poisson curve for concrete and steel. So for concrete, our stress strain curve looks something like this, uh, with a maximum stress of F prime C occurring at epsilon naught. So what's going to happen, or our steel then, is going to have a Poisson ratio constant at uh, about 0 point, uh, sorry, 0.25. Our concrete is going to start with a Poisson ratio below this. So it'll start with a Poisson ratio of 0 0.17. And what's going to happen is as we approach the uh, ultimate strength, our Poisson ratio is going to spike. And it's going to start to go uh, near linear. And um, you can see that the confinement is going to start to have an effect when the Poisson ratio of concrete surpasses that of steel. This is when uh, passive confinement kicks in.